is up guys welcome to vintage genetics where it is all about classic bodybuilding excuse the messy hair still i didn't do anything with it yet because i still have to use this this is dr pen micro needling system so this is a micro needling device and if you don't know what that is, you probably don't experience hair loss or anything like that. But if you have watched my previous hair regrowth protocol video, you know that the microneeding device is an important part of the protocol to regrow your hair and get nice thickness back. So I do this once every week, either in the morning or before bed, but you have to do it when you're head is clean and doesn't have product in it so you don't uh, literally push the needles into the scalp so i'm going to be using this in uh, just about a minute after eating the breakfast which i'm going to show you because this is a full day of eating on a chest day first meal is going to be of course this beautiful breakfast so this is 150 grams of cream of rice 150 grams of blueberries we have some beautiful dark chocolate we unfortunately are out of dark chocolate drops or callets so i had to break apart an 85 percent dark chocolate bar into this and uh, that's pretty much it but we're also of course going to use a protein source which is authentic iso and we are going to make whey paste with this one first thing you want to do grab a nice bowl put it on a scale and grab your favorite whey for me this one tastes incredible so taste has to be great for a whey paste to work because otherwise it's not going to be a pleasure eating through the paste so you're going to put in a couple of scoops i like to do 60 grams in total now the most important part guys will be using some water on top of this here i have my shaker fill up with some water you only want to be using 50 mils of this so let's just actually see so we've got the scale right here zero you want to put a little bit of water in there so let's see because if you do too much it's ruined it is ruined i think a little more all right there we go and now we are going to mix this up okay so now we added the water and now we are going to add um, a spoon a little baby spoon the benefit of having a little baby well it's not so little anymore but anyway so here you have it you just mix it up like that as you can see so you just do this for like 10 or 20 seconds and you will see very soon that as you mix it up it starts to become more and more pasty just a second because you got to keep mixing and mixing and mixing and you think oh it's going to be too chalky nope just keep mixing and yes it does depend on the way so you got to exper uh, experiment with you know like uh, 40 mils and then in between 40 and 50 mils it's going to be perfect but here as you can see we got the perfect paste now you want to thicken this up a little bit usually so you put this in a fridge and as you put this in a fridge just do some housework or something for 10 minutes and then it'll be perfect kaboom and then this is the final result beautiful whey paste on top of this cream of rice so first one of the day let's enjoy it all macros down below and yeah let's get this day started right all right i just applied the micro needling and uh you know it feels pretty sensitive but hey hair growth assured but now it's time for the second meal it's actually not really a meal it's more of a shake because you know my schedule is quite busy so sometimes i like to take a shake but not with a mass gainer but actually with more whole food items such as oatmeal because i need to drink this and then go to the gym give a posing class and right after that have a have a workout so can't really be downing a whole big meal right now because time is being constrained so this is actually the shake so right here you can see some oatmeal 
um, you know, being diluted, being mixed into some water in this Jack Factory shaker cup, of course. So 150 grams of oatmeal. So this is not actual uh, oatmeal flakes. This is ultra fine mixed oat oats. So it mixes up very nicely. And very important here, guys, we want to add a whey isot here that doesn't get thick because otherwise it's going to be a hell to drink. So this one, trust me, it tastes amazing. It makes this taste very good, allows you to drink it and down it like a regular shake. But this isolate, it stays pretty thin when you shake it up with plenty of water like this. So we're going to put this together and then just drink it pretty quickly. All right, you can't see it, but it's quite liquidy, which is very nice because this is like 600 calories or so, if not more, like 700 even. So very easy shake to drink, as you can see. Mm, 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 mm. Easy to drink, so obviously a little thicker than a regular whey isolate shake, but the addition of the isolate doesn't change the thickness. It keeps it just as thin, which is what you want when you're in a bulking diet like I am. This is actually my maintenance phase for like two to three more weeks, as I mentioned, and then it's time to cut down this body fat. Very curious to see what is below this um yeah this layer basically and i'm gonna show you all of it so i just got home from the gym and dexter has been asleep and now he woke up i think we're gonna see what he is looking like in his room okay hello dexter are you holding the bear? Well, I don't smell any dirty diaper, so that's good. Let's get you dressed and get ready for the second chapter of the day. <laughs> and we are ready to go. Ooh, nay. <laughs> so, right now, we are creating the post workout meal, as you can see. This is 160 grams of cream of rice. And we also mix in the whey already. So, this is authentic whey mixed in 60 grams but just like the isolate this actually stays pretty thin and in the off season you might want a thin effect in the cream of rice the oatmeal because you want to be able to get a lot of calories in for low volume in the off i mean in the cutting season however you do want a way that uh, pops up a little more gives you more volume which is when i add different things so in the contest prep i might do that but for now we have the cream of rice we added one banana and now we are going to add a little bit of dark chocolate which is also very healthy and very tasty at the same time. So right here we have a little bar of dark chocolate which Dexter really likes as well but this time we're going to add it to this meal so just want to break it up in little pieces and this right now is pretty hot so it'll melt which will make it a lot easier to eat as your post-workout meal, as this is one of the bigger meals of the day. He wants also a little. Well, okay then. 85% dark chocolate, and this little baby loves it. Okay, so we finished the post-workout meal, guys. Let's eat it and show you the next meal. He wants it off. <laughs> So, what are we eating? We have 150 grams of golden rice, of course, with some beautiful vegetables and chicken from the barbecue, which we don't have for a long time, but it has an incredible effect on the food, obviously. It makes it easy to prep the food. And here we have some beautiful chicken. And I'll also be adding some olive oil. And this one is actually from, from Porto in Portugal from an olive oil plant. So 
this is a very a very pure taste way better than olive oil from most supermarkets anyway let's enjoy this one and then it is time for meal number five something different compared to all the other meals but still a great tasty and healthy bodybuilding meal let me show you what it consists of so right here we have all the ingredients that will be going into this meal so this is the main component this is this literally means skimmed french quark and that is basically smooth cottage cheese as you guys know in the usa cottage cheese is usually a bit you know chalky or not as smooth but this is totally smooth and if you look at uh, the protein, 8.4 grams of protein per 100 grams. So I'm gonna use about 300 grams of this, but because I don't want this meal to be enormously big in volume, I'm going to remain there of the protein, I'm going to add uh, whey to it. So 30 grams of whey to make this meal around 60 grams of high quality protein. Now the big, a calorie source will be this chocolate granola mostly it's basically crunchy oatmeal with dark chocolate and uh, this provides some extra fats and carbs obviously we're going to increase the calories a bit more with 25 grams of dark chocolate right here which is of course very healthy and delicious and right here we have some blueberries rinsed about 125 grams we're going to be adding that as well and then I'll show you the end result of the addition of everything. This is the end result guys, you gotta be honest, this looks pretty good, pretty delicious and the volume isn't too enormous so it's an easy lean bulk maintenance phase meal. Uh, remember the calories, macros all down below in the description and let's enjoy this one. And then it actually is already time for the last meal of the day. So right after this, I'm about to sleep and for a few, or for a while basically, and in this maintenance phase, I've been doing my shake before bed, which would make that like the third moment in the day, or even the fourth, that I'm using whey. But to me, whey is a food source. So for example, eating chicken four times a day, fish, beef, I mean, whey is just another one of your choices that you can use. It's a whole protein source, so all the essential amino acids are in there for muscle growth. It tastes amazing. If it digests amazing for you, it's a good choice. And uh, there's nothing wrong with it, especially in phases where your digestion, your appetite is a bit lower. You can use whey isolate, whey concentrate, or even whey casein before bed to uh, fill in your protein requirements. However, in practice, for most people, that means uh, you know using only shakes with usually ingredients that will provide a lot of micronutrients. And if you uh, look then through the entire day, fruits and vegetables are barely eaten. So today, I ate fruits in three of my meals and vegetables in one of my meal, but every single meal had some kind of fiber source, some kind of source with vitamins and minerals. And honestly, this very last meal has the least, still some, but the least. Why? Because right now I prefer to go to bed with, you know, more of a flatter stomach. And then I wake up with an even flatter stomach than before bed, of course, because you digest everything. But it feels better, it doesn't blow you. But anyway, uh, let's show you what's in this shake. So this is basically just 60 grams of whey concentrate. I'm using concentrate because it's a bit thicker than isolate, so you won't wake up hungry. I've, I've not woken up hungry for a long time now. And this is, as you can see, whole natural peanut butter. Peanut butter has its own health benefits, but obviously it's a healthy fat source to use in combination. So 65 grams actually of whey concentrate, 40 grams of peanut butter. So let's just put this to zero. Take a small spoon. Gotta be careful here because normally I am able to do this accurately. All right, let's go. 
and we are going to, well, we need to go to 40, so. Just like that, and there you go. 40 has been achieved. So, I just drank the shake, it was quite easy. This gives me full throughout the night, provides muscle protein synthesis, slows down digestion because of the fats. It's just a nice last meal. So, once again, all calories, macros down below. And uh, let's sleep for at least eight to nine hours, bodybuilding style. And then weigh myself in the morning to see how much I weigh right now in the maintenance phase. And the weight is, well, just to remove a kilo from this camera, around 129. So yes, just woke up and uh, yeah, that's the weight right now. Within a maintenance phase, yes, you want to maintain the weight, but probably it'll go down because in bodybuilding, professional bodybuilding, a maintenance phase usually is just a health phase to make sure when you do a blood test, everything is correct, everything is right, everything is in a good range before starting a prep. Anyway, thank you a whole lot for watching and don't forget to stay golden.